Junie B. Jones and a Little Monkey Business. Chapter 8. Me and Principal. The school office is a scary place. It has loud ringing phones and a typing lady who is a stranger and a row of chairs where bad kids sit. Mrs. plopped me in a blue one. Wait here, she said. Yeah, only I'm not bad, I whispered to just myself. Then I put my sweater on my head so nobody would see me in the bad kid's chair. After that, I peeked down my long sweater sleeve and I saw Mrs. out of my hand hole. She was knocking on principal's door. Then she went in there and my heart felt very pumpy because she was tattletailing on me, I think. After a while, she came out again. Principal came with her. Principal has a baldy head, which looks like rubber. Also, he has big hands and heavy shoes and a suit, suit made out of black. Could I see you in my office for a minute, Junie B? he said. And so then I had to go in there all by myself, and I sat in a big wood chair. And Principal made me take the sweater off my head. So what's this all about, he said. Why do you think your teacher brought you down here today? Because, I said very quietly. Because why, said Principal. Because that Grace shot off her big fat mouth, I explained. Then Principal folded his arms, and he said for me to start at the beginning. And so I did. First, I told him how I spended the night at my grandpa's house. We had delicious waffles for breakfast, I said, and I had five of them. Only my grandpa didn't know where I put them all, except I put them away in here. Then I opened my mouth and showed Principal where my waffles went. After that, I told him how my grandma Miller came home from the hospital, and she told me I had a monkey brother, for really and honest and truly. And so then I told the children at show and tell, I said. And at recess, Lucille and that Grace started giving me lots of pretty stuff because they wanted to be the first to see him. Except, too bad for me, I said, because when we came inside, Mrs. found out about the snack tickets. And then that dumb Grace shot off her big fat mouth about her shoes. And so I got marched down here and I had to sit in the bad kid's chair then I smoothed my skirt. The end, I said nicely. Principal rubbed his head that looks like rubber. Junie B, maybe we should go back to when your grandmother came home from the hospital, he said. Can you remember exactly what she said about your big brother being a monkey? I scrunched my eyes real tight to remember. Yes, I said. Grandma Miller said he was the cutest little monkey she ever saw. Then Principal closed his eyes. Ah, he said kind of quiet. Now I get it. After that, he smiled a little bit. You see, Junie B, when your grandmother called your brother a little monkey, she didn't mean he was a real little monkey. She just meant he was, well, cute. I know he's cute, I said. That's because all monkeys are cute, except for I don't like the big kind that can kill you. Principal shook his head. No, Junie P, that's not what I mean. I mean, your brother isn't really a monkey at all. He's just a little baby boy. I made a frowny face. No, he's not a little baby boy, I told him. He's a real alive baby monkey with black, hairy fur and long fingers and toes. You can ask my grandma Miller if you don't believe me. And so guess what Principal did then? He called her, that's what. He called Grandma Miller right up on the phone. And then he talked to her. And then I talked to her too. Hey Grandma, I said very shouty. Guess what just happened down here? Principal said that my baby brother isn't a real alive monkey. Only he is, because you told me that, remember? You said that he was a monkey for really and honest and truly. Then Grandma Miller said she was very sorry, but she didn't mean he was a real monkey. She just meant he was cute, just like Principal explained to me. 
And so then I felt very droopy inside. Yeah, only what about all of his black hair and his long fingers and toes, I said. And what about his bed that looks like a cage? And the wallpaper with his jungle friends on it? But Grandma Miller kept on saying that my new brother was just a regular cute baby. And so finally, I didn't want to talk to her anymore, and I hanged up the phone. Then I bended my head way down, and my eyes got a little bit of wet in them. Darn it, I said very quietly. After that, Principal gave me a tissue, and he said, I'm sorry, to me. Then he held my hand, and me and him walked back to room 9. 